Well, hi, all my LGBT friends and others. I wanted to continue uh, reading Exodus. And if you noticed uh, in the previous chapters of Exodus, when it talks about laws and the death penalty and, and what we should and how we should handle uh, each other when it comes to, you know, hurting each other. Um, I That's when I think that um, our uh, right to defend ourselves comes into play and we should be able to decide whatever we deem correct in restitution for whatever crime is held against us plus our judges. Okay, that's that's what God's word says. And uh, if you look at, you know, chapter uh, 23 and, and 22 that talks all about our laws, okay? So um, the other misnomer I'd like to clear up is this term assault weapon. There's no such thing as an assault weapon. I could take this pin and go e -e 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 a million times and I can assault you with it, but it's not an assault weapon, it's a pin, okay? A gun that fires once when you pull the trigger is not an assault weapon, it is a semi-automatic weapon, okay? A full automatic weapon is when you pull the trigger once and the bullets just keep going until you let go of the trigger, okay? There is no such thing as this myth called assault weapon. Ooh, these crazy assault weapons. So let's just get our terms correct, all right? First of all, <laughs> you know, I mean, I can't believe the semantics that's going around, uh, uh, you know, from Pierce Morgan to you know, to, to Hannity on Fox. Uh, you know, we, we got to get our terms correct here, all right? Let's not keep perpetuating the wrong terms. And let's not forget that these people who have committed these heinous crimes against uh, humanity have obtained their weapons illegally, okay? Uh, like the San Bernardino, for example, the couple, first of all, they weren't correctly vetted. Second of all, their own mosque, uh, Eom, or whatever you call the guy that's the head of their mosque, didn't report that something was really wrong and didn't, you know, report to social services or anything like that, okay? Thirdly, the neighbors who saw for two years things going on at these people's homes where they were doing something in their garage, having deliveries made constantly, uh, under cover of night, um, did not report that something strange was going on at these neighbors' homes because they didn't want to be seen as, as you know, politically incorrect because these people were Muslims. We need to get over that, okay? Anytime you want to snitch on somebody because it, you, you, know, you think that they're doing something wrong, you should be able to do that, okay? And not be put down for it because you did. Because you may save one or many lives if you do that. So let's, let's get over that fact. So every time anything has been done whether it was the Lanza case, you know, with Sandy Hook, then <clears throat> that young man most likely broke into his mother's um, place where she had her weapons or she didn't lock it up correctly and he was able to illegally obtain those firearms. And he had mental health issues, okay? So we are not addressing the issues correctly, first of all. And, uh, you know, uh, we really need to do more. We, we don't need to add more stupid gun laws to the laws that already exist. We already have laws on the books. And you are just making it harder for good citizens, like myself, for example, to, to obtain ammunition uh, to, uh, with these new laws. 
that will be a hardship, okay? You're adding more and more hardships to good people when it's not necessary. That means you're doing too much government, okay? And that's not correct to, to do to good citizens. What you should be doing is rounding up all the federal criminals who have weapons and putting them in jail. You should be rounding up gangbangers and putting those people in jail, okay? You should be also investigating and doing more for the mentally ill in this state that you're not doing, okay? For example, there's been one, one case, uh, I just heard just yesterday, from a coworker, talking about a friend that she's had for years. This friend is definitely considered bipolar, you know, by my friend, without having any, you know, uh, medical background or or what have you. Actually, she does have some because of the job that she does. But you know, not being a licensed psychiatrist or psychologist, she can't just label somebody. But the behavior is very bipolar, very manic, very, um, or, you know, very depressed, okay, and, and very erratic. So by those behaviors, she seems bipolar, but could be something else, I don't know. And she tries to get this person into uh, a facility, right? But she doesn't have any other relatives that can legally uh, admit her. So this is her friend saying, look, she's definitely something wrong with her. She keeps talking about wanting to kill herself. She keeps talking about she's, you know, uh, 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 a mythical figure from, or actually she's a, a, a real person from way back when. She's been reincarnated. And every day she mentions these things that are just irrational. And if she needs help. She needs medical help. She has a disease, okay? and she can't even get admitted in. So there's something definitely wrong with the way that we are conducting business when it comes to mental health issues. And we have money in the state, plenty of money to get these things rectified, but it's not being regulated, it's not being done correctly. So There's a lot of ills in this world and things have to be looked at and, and, and followed up on and there has to be oversight on what is going on in our own state. And now you've got, you know, you've got Medicare, you've got Medi-Cal, you have illegal people using these things. They're coming here because they can get free stuff. Do you understand? Free things. And so... And, and it's easy for them to come here. And so they're going to come here because you know how hard it is to get in here legally. Okay, so they just break the law and come in here anyway. And so they figure if they can just break the law and come here to California illegally, then they can break other laws. Do you understand how it works? How it's a domino effect? Now, I'm, I am a person that believes in anybody who wants in, uh, to be able to carry a firearm to protect themselves should be able to do so. But you should be able to obtain it legally, uh, legally and it shouldn't be a hardship to obtain it legally. Right now, the concealed can, uh, CCW, concealed um, weapon law, uh, is uh, <clears throat> you have to prove that there is a reason that your life is in danger or your family is in danger and you have to give just cause why you should be able to carry a concealed weapon on your person. Well, hello, I'm a woman, I'm old. Everywhere I go, I'm in danger <laughs> of being attacked by some loony tunes, okay? Or some somebody who decides he wants to break another law, all right? And I should be able to just, um, based on that fact, that I feel it, 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 uh, my safety is in danger. But no, you can't just say you think your safety is in danger. All right, you have to give a reason. Well, okay, um, because I, uh, my, my job brings me into situations where there's mentally ill or there's... Um, situation where I might be having to uh, 
be around criminals because I'm in a, in interpreting situation. I should be able to, to ha have a firearm on me, but no, do you think I can get one? No, I can't. That's not a good enough reason. So do you see where I think it's just wrong? Because who's mostly attacked? All the soft targets, women, LGBT people, okay? <laughs> schools, especially schools. Hello, they're soft targets. Any workplace is a soft target, all right? I mean, and you don't think it, some bozo doesn't know that? They know they can easily go in there and just shoot up the whole place if they wanted to because there's nobody there to protect you. That's just so, so asinine to me. Uh, hello, you know, uh, come on people. Yeah, you know, if you don't feel that you want to carry a gun on you, then that's fine. That's your choice. You know, if you, you, you have uh, some other way to protect yourself, then that's fine. But, uh, you know, women especially, or, you know, our children need to be protected. They should be protected by, you know, uh, maybe retired police or retired military or our, our own, you know, uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, militia, our own, um, oh, I'm losing my mind here. Um, National Guard is what I'm thinking, you know? Uh, let's put those people to work, okay? Let's put the, let's put the, you know, our military that are here on bases, let's get them on a rotation or something. You know, let's think outside the box. You know, let's get some people who know what they're doing, who've had experience with firearms, who, uh, you know, have had to carry in the military or in the police force. Let's get them, you know, to protect our children, all right? Anyway, I'm just going on a rant. I was going to read you Exodus. I guess I'll have to do it on my next video. <laughs> I just, you know, these are just thoughts that are going in my head and I just want to get them out there and see what you guys think. And because, you know, this is coming up in September and I want to get it out there. I want you guys to know that we have got to fight for our rights. Everybody has to do that. Everybody has to participate in, in, in right to the, to the, and I want to thank my subscriber who has done that. Um, thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate you writing into the governor and and uh, and saying your you know your two cents worth because we all have to do that. Uh, so thank you so much. All right, bye bye guys. Oh, and one more thing. Um, to my LGBT friends, okay, you need to protect yourselves. You really do. Um, and I don't know that just being you know who who we are, if that would get the sheriffs to allow us to protect ourselves. But I definitely think that some of our organizations should look into that, um, that we need to protect each other because not only are we vulnerable to regular society, but also now to these dumb, you know, radical Islamic terrorists, okay? So, you know, just please, please protect yourselves. Watch your six. All right, love you guys. Bye-bye.